This right here is my actual dividend growth portfolio and here are 1,000 shares of Apple stock that I currently own. Now with Apple currently trading at around $179 per share, these 1,000 shares are currently worth around $179,000. I bought these shares at Apple years ago at around $118 per share and I'm currently up around $60,000 more or less on the position. Now, although these shares of Apple have treated my portfolio quite well, I'm actually considering selling off these shares sometime soon here because I wanna buy into something with a higher starting dividend yield to generate more consistent income in my portfolio as I get closer and closer to wanting to retire or closer and closer to wanting to use some more of the dividends in my portfolio for everyday expenses. I am considering selling my shares of Apple and buying into something more diversified with a higher starting yield, something like the SCHD ETF, but just for fun, for example, what would happen if I went into something with a much higher starting dividend yield? Something like the Yield Max, ticker symbol APLY ETF. Now in this video, we are going to explore this APLY ETF and go over the exact math and dividend income I could expect if I were to, of course, choose to sell my 1,000 shares of Apple and roll every single dollar into this Yield Max Apple covered call ETF. Now stick around because I promise you these numbers are going to shock you and you are not going to want to miss a thing. So before we look deeper into APLY, once again, just for some reference, I bought my shares of Apple years ago. I didn't buy all 1,000 shares at one time. I bought them over the span of multiple years. And again, my average cost is around $118.36. Apple's currently at anywhere around $175 to $180, depending on the day as of recently, it seems. But as a film in this video, it's right around $179. Now, like I said, one of the main options that I've been considering on where to put the money if I do choose to sell the 1,000 shares of Apple, which I most likely am towards the end of this year, one of the options, of course, is to invest the money into something like the Schwab US Dividend Equity ETF, which is a very well diversified ETF that has some massive dividend growth. And to be more specific, SCHD is currently offering around a 3.53% starting dividend yield, something around there, where Apple stock is currently offering right around a 0.54% starting dividend yield. Which keep in mind, my yield on cost is of course much higher because I bought Apple at much cheaper than it's currently at. But either way, I'm probably earning around a 1% dividend yield with Apple. And of course, I get it, Apple is not necessarily a stock that you're going to want to buy to chase a high dividend yield. Obviously, you buy into Apple because of the growth potential which of course I have benefited crazy off of. But like I said a little bit earlier, as I get older and older and closer and closer to where I want to start using this portfolio and utilizing some of the dividend payments on a monthly or quarterly basis, I do want to slowly move some of my more growth positions into more higher strain dividend yields with still some growth potential, of course. So now I'm going over the title of the video. If I were to sell my shares of Apple and invest into something like APLY, which is the Yield Max Option Income ETF. A quick little background on these Yield Max ETFs. A lot of these ETFs track either single stocks or for the OARK. This is an RK option ETF. But for the most part, the Yield Max ETFs use options and generate a massive amount of distribution on a monthly basis, or at least for the most part they have so far. Now, when it comes to the yield max, it depends what the underlying is. Like for Tesla, for example, the distribution rate is almost 50%. But for Apple, it's only 14.01% as of so far. And this is because Apple, of course, has much less volatility than something like NVIDIA or Tesla. But digging a little bit deeper into APLY, the yield max Apple option income strategy ETF, the fund overview says the yield max Apple option income strategy ETF or APLY is an actively managed fund that seeks to generate monthly income by selling or running call options on, on Apple. APLY pursues a strategy that aims to harvest compelling yields while retaining capped participation in the price gains of Apple. Now I can of course go much deeper into how this exact ETF works and comment down below if you want to see a video on that, but I have made other videos on my channel talking about the Yieldmax ETFs sort of ad nauseum by now. But basically what Yieldmax does is they use options and write synthetic cover calls on the underlying Apple stock and by utilizing the synthetic call strategy, they're hoping to generate a lot of income on a monthly basis for investors. Now, because APLY has only been around since about April, we don't have that much historical data to go off of, which I definitely don't like. When it comes to investing, especially buying into long-term positions, for example, I like to look at historical data to have an idea of how something is traded or how much in dividends it's paid, etc. But with APLY, we only have a little bit of data to go off of, but so far since the fund's inception, as far as just price return alone, the fund is actually down around 5.1%. Now, this is one of the things that I definitely worry about when it comes to ETFs like this or covered call ETFs in general. A lot of times they do a price decay. Take QYLD, the Global X NASDAQ 100 covered call ETF, for example. This ETF has been around for a decade now. And since it started, it's down around 31.01% as far as price return. Now I get it, the dividends that have been paid have been pretty massive over the years from QYLD. So on a total return basis, it's not necessarily down all that much, 
But generally speaking, for covered call ETFs, this is definitely going to be one of the biggest concerns, in my opinion, on what investors should look out for is price decay of the overall ETF. And although I'm not saying that 100% certain that every single covered call ETF out there is going to have massive price decay, it's definitely something that I want you to keep in mind when investing into them. So now that we went over APLY, the Yieldmax Apple Option Income Strategy ETF's price performance, looking at the dividends that have been paid so far, they've been sort of all over the place. The first dividend back in June, it looks like, was $0.29 cents per share. Then we had a $0.63 cent dividend in July. We had a $0.56 cent dividend paid out in August. And then just as of recently in September, we had around a $0.23 cent dividend that's going to be paid. Now, obviously, the dividends are going to be very sporadic, and this is because of the nature of the strategy that the Yieldmax covered call ETFs use. The amount of distributions is going to depend on how the underlying Apple trades on a monthly basis and other things, which is for the most part one of the reasons why I personally would never invest all that much money into one of these ETFs because I like to have my monthly or quarterly income a little bit more forecast out and have more of an idea of what I'm going to be generating on a yearly basis. But regardless, just for the sake of the video and to get an idea of what we could generate on a monthly basis, if I were to buy into APLY instead of Apple, because we don't have all that much data to go off of, let's go with a $0.35 cent per month on average dividend paid from APLY. So now heading over to the calculator, if we'd want to sell off our $170,000 worth of Apple stock and use all the money, every single dollar to invest into APLY, for example, that's currently trading around $14.50 per share. In theory, by selling off all of our shares of Apple and buying into this new yield max ETF, we could buy 11,724 shares of APLY. Now, just going off of the average dividend paid per month right now, and again, this can change. It could be much higher some months, much lower some months, but just trying to go off of an average, a little bit of a conservative average of 35 cents paid per share from APLY, we could in theory earn $4,103 on a monthly basis if we were to sell off all of our shares of Apple and buy into APLY. Now, if we were to multiply this by 12 on a yearly basis, that's $49,241.37 per year just in dividends alone. Now, obviously, the reality is, is that we don't exactly know what APLY is going to pay consistently over the next year. There could even be some months where it doesn't even pay a distribution at all. It really just depends on how the underlying trades. But what I will say when it comes to the Yieldmax ETFs, what I think is pretty cool about it, is they do have so many different options. I mean, they have Apple stock, NVIDIA, they have things like Facebook, Google, Netflix, Amazon. There's even some newer ones like Coinbase, Microsoft, Disney, and ExxonMobil. And now what I like about that is the fact that all these different stocks, all these different underlying single stocks that Yieldmax is going to use for their ETF, they all have different characteristics, like Tesla and NVIDIA, for example. The underlying stocks definitely tend to be more volatile. But then there's things like Apple and maybe even Google that aren't necessarily as volatile and a little bit more predictable in the way that they trade. So for that being said, for different investors out there that do want to chase maybe some really high yield, they can sort of go off of what they know about the underlying stock. And of course, when it comes to the yield max ETFs, it kind of feels like the higher risk, the higher reward potential. But I want to hear from you guys down below in the idea of selling off my 1,000 shares of Apple, taking the profits, and putting the cash into something a little bit higher yield because of my strategy like I talked about earlier. If you were me, which stock or ETF would you invest the money into and why? Comment down below. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to please drop a like on it and subscribe for more future content like this. Thanks as always for stopping by, and if you are interested in investing, make sure to check out these recent videos I posted right here.